Welcome everyone to Inside the Fight UFC 168 pre-fight big fight card this Saturday and I hope everyone had a happy holidays. And let's get right into this card. Three top fights in this card. Let's start with Travis Brown taking on Josh Barnett. Yeah, a big fight in the heavyweight division. Uh, Josh Barnett trying to climb the ladder to regain the title. He never lost the heavyweight UFC heavyweight uh, championship. Travis Brown coming off uh, a vicious uh, comeback knockout of Alistair Overeem. It's going to be a, a good test. Uh, I think Travis Brown, uh, he has a lot of potential. Uh, I know that he had that, um, that uh, missed up when he fought Bigfoot Silva, but a lot of people saw a lot of potential. Travis Brown, he has a good takedown defense, uh, very good striking, extremely powerful, uh, really big heavyweight. Uh, but Josh Barnett does have that in-your-face style. Uh, it's going to be a good fight. I I don't know who to pick there. I, I think it's going to be a great fight. Uh, Josh Barnett someone that's going to bring this fight to Travis Brown and really test them out. Um, I, I'm going to have to pick someone because I do think Josh Barnett's going to have the experience factor here. But regardless, um, it is going to be a vicious fight. Uh, Travis Brown showed me something in his last fight. He showed me that he has heart and will to fight through adversity. And so, he has a straight kick to the face. <laughs> <laughs> you never know that front <laughs> kick that he's connecting on people. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I think that's going to be a great fight. Uh, I'm picking um, the veteran in this one. Josh Barnett. I, yeah, I guess slight favor to Josh Barnett. Uh, I think he could work the clinch game and uh, you know do a good job with that. But I don't know. This this. Uh, you know it's going to be a great fight. Yeah, that, that's for I, sure. I, I, I think these two are going to bring it. I'm only going to pick Josh Bennett just because I have to pick. Honestly, I think it could go either way. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Now let's get to the first of two title fights on this pay per view and a rematch. And it's a rematch, just like the main event. Misha Tate challenges Ronda Rousey. Uh, a lot of people um, they make it sound like uh, Ronda Rousey is going to win this fight with ease. Right. But, uh, I don't know, uh, Misha Tate did light up uh, Ronda Rousey on the feet and I believe took her back uh, during their first fight. That, I think people, a lot of people forget about that. Uh, Misha Tate's been working hard and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if she can keep the fight standing this time and uh, just fight Ronda standing. Uh, I'm going to go with the upset, Misha Tate. Well. You pick Misha, and I, you know what? I want Misha Tate to win, but I think Ronda's takedown techniques are just way too advanced in her level. Her judo, um, her judo was just way too good, and I see an armbar finish for again. Really, an armbar? I'm are going sure? to go with the armbar. It just it, what? What? First round? First round two? Yeah. Huh? You know what? <laughs> <laughs> First round arm bar, yeah. Ronda Rousey, and if she does it, you're going out on a limb there. <laughs> if I, if she does it, I will say she is the greatest arm bar submission expert ever. I think she is already. Yeah. The fact is, <laughs> when you know that that's her main move, and everyone has been defeated by it. I mean, I understand that yeah. some people want to discredit the women's division, but these women are good. They're really good fighters. Um, man, uh, her arm bar is scary. It, it's just a thing of beauty when uh, she works. If I were Misha Tate, or, or at least Misha Tate's coach, I would say make sure to avoid the ground at all costs. Well, I mean, one thing that, you know, watching the countdown show, uh, Misha's coach and Misha said they are they were well aware of every position that arm bar could come out of. Mm -hmm. So hopefully she will be prepared for it. Um, but you know who knows? We'll see. It's gonna be a great fight. I think that might even be fight of the night, possibly. But like I said, I'm going to go with Ronda first round on bar. Yeah, I, I fight of the night most likely. Uh, I uh, the women have really impressed me. Uh, their fights are vicious. I mean, they're just so vicious. Uh, I, I I love watching the the women fighting. It's uh, doesn't hurt that they're beautiful women too. Uh, so <laughs> definitely. Um, yeah, uh, I, I, I think I'm gonna go with uh, with uh, Misha Tate just for the upset. Um, but of course, I wouldn't be surprised if this first round on bar. 
<laughs> for Ronda. And now for the main event, the rematch that everyone has been dying for. Anderson Silver challenges Chris Wyman for the UFC middleweight title. Does that sound weird? It, hearing him... It's normal. It's normal. <laughs> it's normal. You know? No, it's normal. <laughs> That's uh, Anderson Silva's uh, famous quote in his last couple of <laughs> press conferences. Everything is normal. Uh, no, it's... Uh, the shock of that first fight has uh, long passed. Uh, a lot of people are really in a mixed bag of how Wyman won. Some people believe that that's part of Silva's full strategy to have his hands down, knees bent, flat foot parallel, bending backwards. Uh, I think you're, you guys who believe that are a little overstating what Silva actually does. His taunting, he taunts a lot of opponents, but to the level that he did to Wyman has only been on one other opponent, and that was uh, Meyer, Damian Meyer. Every other opponent, he never taunted them to that same level. He was, again, knees bent, parallel feet, bending backwards, chin up, nowhere to go. I mean, he, 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 it was yeah, of and he also, you know, did that little wobbly move like if he's hurt. He didn't do this against anybody else. This is, if he did this against Dan Henderson or Vito Belfort, he would have been knocked out just the same. Just the same. Even more viciously. With that said, you can't take full credit away from uh, Chris Wyman because it means he did what he had to do. He knocked him out. You do know that Silva's going to taunt, and uh, he took full advantage of it, and bravo to Chris Wyman. But, I believe that will not happen again, at least not to that level. I do think Silva is going to taunt him, though. I really do think Silva <laughs> is going to make a statement in this fight, and Silva's going to absolutely destroy Chris Wyman round two. You know what? I could see that definitely happening, and I'm also going to say I think Anderson Silva is going to win this fight with taunting it included. Mm -hmm. um, Just not to that same. It won't be to that level, level, but he's gonna make him look like no, basically that uh, he's out of his league. Like yes, out of his league, and show everyone that he is still the Anderson Silva that everyone wants him to be. Yeah, uh, I've seen the fight, the first fight, multiple times, and the. After the first round, uh, Chris Weidman failed to get, well actually in the, the end of the first round, he failed to get a second takedown. He got stuffed again in the second round. He started looking slower. He got. He started he looking gas. Now, there could be an excuse to that. I mean, he did have a long layoff uh, before that. Uh, but he also did gas in the Damian Meyer fight. But again, could use the excuse that he that took that fight in short notice. So, are these real excuses or... Does Chris Wyman have a gas tank problem? If he does, this fight is... Because that's what I believe. I believe that Silva looked at Wyman and was like, Oh, you can't take me down no more. I could play around with this guy. This guy is no threat to me at all. I believe that's what Silva had in his mind in that first fight. And uh, unfortunately, Silva overplayed his, uh, his taunting, his clowning. And then he got caught. And, uh, you know... As amazing as Silva is, eventually you knew it was going to happen. And uh, especially when he took it to this level. And then he got caught. Uh, no, I mean, no offense to Chris Weidman. He is an amazing fighter. Uh, he definitely is one of the best middleweights in the world. But I really believe that Silva beat Silva. And, uh, Let's go and play. this match is going to prove that when Silva absolutely destroys Chris Weidman. Well, so there you have it, our predictions. And uh So you agree you agree? I agree. I think as is going to beat him. Um, no, no. you know what? I think uh it's possible second round, like you said, um I think the first round he's going yeah. to toy him again. I think the first round uh Silva of course always now, lets the wrestlers I, you know pretty much grapple. <laughs> I do believe Chris Weidman it's is a champ, so he's getting to play yeah. to the fact that he's a champ, and he's going to make Anderson Silva try to make him fight his yeah. type of fight. But this is Anderson Silva. Anderson Silva doesn't care who you are. He's going to taunt you yeah. and make you fight the way he wants you to fight. So I do think he's going to toy him and then knock him out in the second round. Yeah. And like you said, like you said, Chris Wyman is no joke. He could take a hot, he could take a hit, and he could deliver just as hard as he could take a hit. 
So, can Chris Whiteman win this fight? Yes, he can. Just like he won the first fight. But not the same way. I don't no. think he's going to win the same way. And I think if he is going to win this fight, it's going to be a decision. And I don't even think that's going to be happening. So, yeah. I don't see him connecting the same way he connected the first yeah. fight. Decision or submission on the ground, I can see Chris Wyman winning on the early rounds. It, oh, I mean, well, the submission, not the decision. But uh, I think he can win if he gets him down on the first round and uh, get, finishes Silva on the ground. I think he can win that first round. Uh, but after that, I think Silva's going to take over. Uh, just like he has done with many other grapplers. Uh, after the first round, it's over. And, uh, well, you know, I just I just can't wait for this fight. I really can't. I'm so excited. Um, and uh, I believe Silva when he said, I'm back. <laughs> so, let us know what you guys think. Remember to follow us, subscribe. Uh, and, again, this Saturday, UFC, right after the fights, check back to this channel and you'll get the UFC post-fight from... Inside the fights, Willie and Eddie.